Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Serenity. And I have a podcast called The Peace Speaker. And I'm going to do a little mini for you because something happened to me tonight and I really, really just feel like I need to talk about it. And I'm going to post it on Facebook because you guys, I just want to share with you. Learn something new every day. No matter what it is, it, it could be something as simple as learning how to fix something that's broken in your house or learning how to, I don't know, do something, make a craft. Try something different. When you're driving to work, instead of going left, go right. Um, take a different direction. Days off, go do something. Uh, go for a walk around your neighborhood. Go out and look at a new home. You'd probably never buy one, but just go look at one. Do something different every day. Every day. The one thing I've really learned through the process of growing is that the older you get, you, you kind of you stop growing because you stop learning. When we're young, we want to learn everything, but when we're old, we're tired. We don't want to learn anymore. We just like, we don't, we, we lose kind of our passion for life. Or we feel that we've hit a point that we could just relax and, you know, easy breezy and just rest the rest of our life. And we don't do anything. We do the same thing over and over again, every day, every day. Your brain is a muscle. And the more you use it, the more it grows and the healthier it is. I have brain damage. And I've noticed that lately, I'm getting a little bit better actually kind of remembering some things. But not even that. I've also noticed lately that things that I used to struggle with, like my grammar and my words and my writings and just everyday things that I used to really struggle with actually are really quite easy for me. And in fact, I'm pretty impressed at how well I do. It's it's so natural to me now that it's it's impressive now before it was never like this I struggled I could never figure out but I was also the type of person that would kind of stay in the house and play video games I did the same thing routinely every day it, I never changed anything I never went out I never did anything I didn't make new friends I stayed home all the time and I slowly just kind of felt myself slipping away getting more depressed thinking there's got to be more to life than this there's got to be more I found God I was atheist I didn't believe. And when I got to the point where I didn't think I could go on anymore, I prayed, but in a way that I never prayed before. It was really deep down inside. It was like this point where, okay, I know you're here. I I need forgiveness right now. God, I need this now. I I don't know what else to do. You have, there's a moment you have to believe with all your might that is someone there. And he answered me, (laughs) which was but it wasn't just I had to wait for the answer to come around. No, I mean, I got online and I put a Joel Osteen video on because I figured that maybe listening to a sermon or doing something, because I've heard him talk before and, and he was a lot better than what I was used to, so I listened to him. He answered me in a video. And now I kind of pick up on things. And, and it's I kind of listen to the sermons and I, t- I do what they tell me to him pretty good and I I receive everything I hear and I started doing new things I when I would go to work I would actually go out of my way get lost for a little while I love doing it with my kids now I'll get in the car and we'll go driving and we get lost in the neighborhood it's it's pretty amazing the same things that we see we see new houses and 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 the more I see the more ideas come to me it's like the the more I learn the more my brain starts to grow again when you do something you create electrical pathways in your brain When you stop learning, you kind of stop growing in that area of your brain. Now, I do. I try to learn everything. I've always been a jack of all trades. I try to learn everything, but I never mastered anything. I never really stayed with anything because I didn't enjoy what I did. Now that I'm, I'm doing what I'm passionate about, like I found my passion. It took me a long time. I, you know, and the funny thing is the passion that I have now is something similar to what I've been doing for the last five years and hating it. Like graphic design, I hate graphic design. Well, not anymore, but I used to hate graphic design. But now that I found what I'm passionate about, why I'm so excited about doing, it's like I learn new things. I actually go out and try to figure things out about how to get my podcast out. It, I still am struggling with getting it out, but it's, it's okay. I, I understand that this is how the process is going to go. So if I got to make a whole bunch, then I'm going to make a whole bunch. And then somebody maybe will come along and see it. But I'm, I'm amazed at the way I think, the way I do things, the fact that I failed English in school. 
there was a part of me I could not understand how to use a comma or a period or anything I struggled I've always had really good words but I can never put it out on the paper where people would read it the way I'm trying to express myself and that's why I think there's a big problem in society today is because sometimes we don't type things the right way and it's portrayed wrong I mean how can you honestly portray a true emotion to someone through a text message if you don't know how to put the right punctuations you know you one little move of a punctuation can turn a sentence into a whole different you know meaning that the other person may not understand and now that I'm doing new things like I said I, I go to parks now I go out walking I'm I, I'm getting on the computer, I'm picking up something, trying to do something different. I'm not just going, I don't watch TV anymore. I don't find TV fascinating. I, and I used to be a Netflix person. I could get on Netflix and watch it all day long. But now, I don't know what it is, but I don't, I don't want to watch TV because I feel like TV's not going to get me anywhere. <laughs> TV's not going to get me to the next point in my life where I could find my own peace and my own way to prosper. I don't want to get stuck to where I was because where I was was not happy. But it's not who I am anymore. Now that I'm moving forward and my time is spent actually learning, I like to learn new things. Yeah, a lot of the times I still have problems remembering what I learn, but in the process, I'm noticing that things are becoming more natural to me. It's, it's pretty amazing how once things that used to hold me back now come so naturally that it literally like my cup is overflown. Before I looked at my cup as half empty because of the stuff I went through, but now <laughs> like it's actually kind of overflowing on its own. Yes, I still am stuck in the same place that I've always been, my finances, my job, because there's still struggles that I'm still struggling with. And I'm slowly getting my way through that because I'm realizing that the more that I continue to do what I'm passionate about, the more knowledge that I'm getting because I'm actually working harder and trying to evolve what I'm doing. The more that I do that, the more naturally I'm getting better at everything else. <laughs> when you stop learning, you stop growing. You stop I mean you literally cause old age you know quicker you have to think about it your brain is like this living material and every time that you think you're sending electrical charges in your brain to create pathways and create pathways and other pathways and other pathways when you stop learning you stop using those electrical signals in your brain to grow they, they stop you, you continue to use the ones that you have yes and they become great and you're really good at what you do however you never go beyond that because you kind of just stop there's nothing more for you but when you continue to learn new things you start to regain the old pathways that were once dead like with me doing this now that my passion now what I used to struggle and I do really good so you see it's it's kind of odd but it I didn't have to study at it to get better actually all I had to do was find what I loved that's what it is like doing this I love doing this I, I really enjoy speaking to you guys because I finally feel that what I have went through in my life was not in vain. I see my purpose. My purpose is to show that it's okay to be human and to tell the world that no matter where you are, no matter who you are, that you are perfect. You just may not see it that way because you, you can't forgive people. You hold on to things. You're guilty about this. You've done that. You don't know what to do. When all you really have to do is actually just kind of forgive yourself forgive yourself and do things new things go do something that you never do before make the wrong turn and get lost somewhere and when you start seeing new things you start creating those pathways in your brain and you start learning things unknowingly but it takes you making the step to do something outside of your routine that's why they always say step outside of your box. That's why I've always said you can't grow in your box because when you're in your box, you literally are depriving your brain from actually growing past that because you only do the same things over and over again. You don't do new things, but when you, you step outside of your box, you start creating those pathways in your brain that open up new parts of your brain that you never, th never even knew you had access to. It's amazing how much our anger and destruction towards others and our unwillingness to love others causes us to actually regress and stay in our box. And we don't want to leave the house. We don't want to deal with people. When you start to love people and see people for who they are and you start to forgive them and you forgive yourself and you strive to move forward and you forget all the past and you, you stop looking towards all of that, you start to notice that it's actually quite easy to move forward in life because you can finally believe in what you can do because you understand how to. 
it's it's so amazing how twisted we look at this world and how we do things so opposite it's amazing and in fact what i'm doing now which i thought was hard to go from where i was to where i am it's it's hard because the fact that yes it is a process it is a struggle it's it's of understanding of life is happening for a reason just go with the flow but once you get past all the struggle and pain and you start to see things from a different perspective and understand things slightly differently than what you used to before you start to see the bigger picture and you start to understand that it's it's not the way it was you know i i held myself back because of what i believed to be my world and that my struggles were meant to hurt me and that you know sometimes i felt god was out to get me and before when i was an atheist that's even worse trust me when you you live a life believing that you're completely alone that's terrible absolutely terrible you don't grow when you believe you're alone when you know that there's something out there bigger than you 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 grow differently because then you just you i don't know it's it's hard to explain i think over a period of time of more videos i think i'll be able to explain it to you a little bit better it'll come a little bit easier to me go do something different grow a new pathway in your brain because you never know where that pathway may lead you may actually find the one thing that you've been looking for your entire life and all it took was stepping outside of your box and doing something different continue to grow don't ever stop you'll be amazed at what you can do peace and love people peace and love oh oh yeah no i don't want to end it that way look i'm putting this one on facebook because every time i try to publish a, a youtube link on facebook i get nowhere nobody ever sees it so you know i'm gonna post this on facebook and maybe if i can get enough shares i can get enough people to actually start going to my youtube links because if i can get enough views i might actually be able to make some money off of this i might be able to prosper with my family so i can quit my job and actually do this full time because i feel that i'd be pretty good at it actually i'd, I'd be really good at it yay i found what i love to do i'm happy it's okay just let me be let me be this weird so guys i'm gonna have this on facebook what i need y'all to do is to go to my youtube channel the youtube channel is called the peace speaker i only have like two videos this will be my well no i'm not gonna put this one in there i'll have two videos for now but i will continue to add as much as i can twice you know i'm gonna try to do it every other day or you know we'll get around to that but i'm going to try to be very consistent and keep them up there but if you don't mind guys can you guys go to my channel check out my other videos and subscribe Subs let me get some subscribers so that way i can start getting some people in here all right i love you guys you guys are amazing and i'm so thankful for you guys being my life god bless you guys have a beautiful night